Hello everyone, in this video we will see how we can update the values inside an array by using uh, different ways. So, so here we have a string array, these are city names. So the first way to update the value inside an array is to target the element that we want to update. For example, we can target the first element here and we can hard code the new value inside the function. So function, let's say change one, and we need to make this external or public, I will use external and here we can say cities the index number of the, the first city, Rwanda is 0 and we would like to change this city name to anything so I will say Kaunas so now let's do the second way the second way is to use a, a function parameter so for that I need to say string memory and here underscore word and again external and here it's underscore word because parameters by convention they should start with underscore and strings they can either be memory or call stack but here we are using memory but this is another topic okay I mean if you are wondering why I put memory here and then uh, you just need to say cities and this time maybe I can target the second element so I will say 1 is equal to word. So that's how you update uh, in the second different way. In the third way, maybe we can, if you are wondering if we can update all the values of the array, that's also possible. You know, you, if you want to do that, you just need to create your function like this. Let's say change 3 and here instead of specifying an index number this time we are not going to be specifying any index but instead we will recreate the array like this and here are some new values so let's say window and for a second value we can say anything let's say Mombasa and so that's how it is you know and now let's this is, these are the three ways to update the values of your array and let's now create a function that we can see our array after each operation so let's say external view returns and we will return a string array and we need to say memory here and now let's say return cities that's it so it didn't change for a reason uh, underscore yeah. now it should be fine it's fine now let's deploy it here is our array first let's see how our array looks like it looks like as it's written here so let's do the first one change one and now let's get the array you see now it became Kaunas Juarez in Vilnius so let's do the second change and in the second change you can see anything let's say Lusaka and now let's get the array you see it became Kaunas, Lusaka and Vilnius let's call the third function and now let's get the array you see the array completely changed now it became Windok and Mombasa so that's how you update the array and see you next time bye bye